Hi, I'm Kai. Thank you so much for joining me for my big review for Rose by Natural Collection, also known as Rose by Envy, in the color Sparkling Champagne. Stay tuned! So before we start, I would like to say thank you to Hairwear UK for sending me this piece on loan in exchange for an honest review. Use my code K20 and you will get 20% off sidewide. So let's start with the color Sparkling Champagne. Sparkling Champagne overall has a strawberry blonde base, the soft golden and light blonde highlights, and it has a medium brown roots. And they are throughout. So that gives you a natural regrowth look. So let's talk about rose. So what you have is a shoulder length, um, very layered piece that has lots of flippy bits with a fringe. So you could cut a full fringe in if you wanted to, or you just move it to the side. There's another new style by Natural Collection or Envy called Lavender um, or Sam in the Envy line, which is a similar look. But I think Rose has much more layers and looks much more flippy. <laughs> um, so yeah, it has more of these layers and it's, it's a little bit lower density towards uh, the bottom because of the layers than Lavender or than Lavender slash Sam. Um, just if you have come across these two and you're a little bit confused what the difference is, I would say that's what it is because the cap construction is the same. They both have a mono top and a lace front. So let's look at rows from all sides. Okay, as I said, it has a, a lace front, so let's have a look at that. I think it's overall nicely done. I think it could have done with having some of the lighter pieces come all the way to the front here. Um, it's just a bit stark, I think. Um, and I think I would pluck it. Um, I mean, knots are minimal. It is a medium brown root, so... You know, I think that is that part is actually really nicely done. But I do think a little bit of lighter pieces to break it up a bit would have been nice. Um, let's look at the transition whilst we are here. Overall, not too bad. I think it's actually quite good. The ear taps are a little bit stronger than other Enrivix I have come across before, so that's good. Um, the mono top. Nicely done, so you can part it wherever you like, however, <laughs> it doesn't stay. So a little bit of work is required if you want to change that part. So just add some water um, and clip it where you want it and leave it to dry and that should sort it out. The other thing I notice, lots of flyaways on this one. So <laughs> I'm doing this constantly. Um, yeah, lots of flyaways. Um, so again, some water or some hairspray will sort that out. Fit-wise, straight out of the box, it comes on the furthest possible setting. My head circumference is 21.5 inches and it fits just about okay for the uh, on the widest setting. Um, so if you have a 22, it might stretch because it's quite a stretchy cap and there is a little bit of gapping but anything above that I would check that with a retailer I am not so sure um, the ear taps sit in the right place on me but the cap sits on my ears and it is already a little bit starting to hurt so ear to ear it's actually fitting large but the circumference doesn't quite feel the same. So just so you are aware, 
the sizing is for me a little bit funny. So let's look at the cap construction. We have a mono top, a lace front, velvet covered ear tabs with metal stays in them, open sides and back. We have an extended nape with bra strap like adjusters. And here you can see I have them on the furthest possible setting. And there is a lot of stretch to this cap. Density wise, low to medium, I would say. I think because of the layers, it does feel lower. But if you go more at the top, it feels a bit more medium. Um, there is a bit of permatease, but not that much. Definitely not the pillowy kind. Um, so I think quite a natural density. These are regular synthetic fibers. So this is the style it will stay. If you want to change it, if you don't like the, the flippy bits <laughs> and you want to straighten it, you can steam it. I've never done it, uh, but there are a few YouTube videos out there on how, how to steam a non-heat friendly wig. So styling option wise, I mean, I would probably wear this fringe up because it is a bit of a flopper. You can tuck it behind your ears. Half up, half down, you would need some clips to clip the sides back. So it doesn't work quite as easily as with other ones because this is quite a short nice face framing layer, <laughs> but it is quite short, so it will not quite reach there. Or you can just twist the sides. So now let me take you outside so you can see sparkling champagne in the natural light. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you again to Hairwear UK. Use my code K20. If you have any questions, any comments, put them down below. And please follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at Kwers Wicks, where you will see reels and pictures and tutorials, etc. Have a lovely, lovely day. And I hope I see you soon. Bye.